blind spot. When I reached for the neck or the sides, I got a little bit concerned, so I'm going to have to take my time with this today. Now, in all of what we're doing with these horses, we want to remember that um, they come in with a really beautiful balance in place for us to work with, and that is that spot between curiosity and uh, self-preservation. Curiosity is tied to their self-preservation, and their lightness is tied to self-preservation. I'm going to say that again because most people don't want a horse that's too light. When that, when that light comes up in those younger horses, most people have an immediate response in themselves, a gut response, a visceral response, a self-preservation response of their own, which is to shut that light off. Like, where is the switch? Please, let me close it now. Okay, and that's exactly... That switch is exactly what you need to keep open so that you have life in the horse to work with when you ask them to do something for you. And if you are interested in turning off the life in your younger horses, then don't be surprised by the time you get on and get them mounted that you are going to the whip and the spur and other means to liven them up because you've already taken the life away. Now, all I'm doing here with this colt is seeing if I can get in his right eye with a line. Some of you might not have understood what I was doing there, but I want to just flip over there and um, be as nonchalant as I can so that he can begin to fit into my world and into my needs for what I needed to do without climbing the walls, looking for a way out, or kicking at me, because he will do all those things if he feels like that's what his self-preservation depends on.